Transpiration is the loss of water from the aerial parts of plant. It takes place through the stomatal apertures which are created by the guard cells. The water which is lost during the process of transpiration can be weighed by various weighing methods. We will be discussing about two of the methods today. Weighing method is used for the measurement of transpiration. A small light weighted plant is taken for the experiment and is weighed before proceeding with the experiment. The initial reading is taken and after the experiment is completed then also the same plant is weighed. So the difference from the initial time period to the final time period and the change which is marked from the initial time to the final time recorded is the amount of transpiration which occurs. Here in the first experimental setup you can see a plant, a potted plant is taken and it is weighed on a weighing machine. But before weighing it, it is covered, its base is covered with the polythene bag. The reason why the base is covered with the polythene bag is it is so that uh, the evaporation evaporation of water from the soil is to be avoided so that proper reading can be taken and in order to avoid the evaporation from the soil we have to cover it with the help of polythene bag now even if the evaporation occurs from the soil surface but still the droplets of water will be there in the polythene bag so the water droplet will not be lost in any other way other than the leaves so only transpiration is allowed in this process so initially when the experimental setup is organized we can see that the weighing balance shows 247.9 grams now after suppose uh, two to three hours when we again weigh the same plant we find that the final reading which we can find out is 200 grams now there is a difference of 47.9 grams from the initial reading to the final reading initial reading is this one so the difference will be 46 grams so what is the amount of transpiration which has taken place in two to three hours suppose we are taking three hours as the time limit so in three hours the total amount of transmitted transpiration which has occurred is 47.9 grams now here it is uh, to be noted that it may vary if we can uh, find out that in five hours how much amount of transpiration is occurring then we can figure out very easily that within a minute how many or what percentage of water droplets are lost so in this way we can calculate the amount of transpiration taking place at a particular temperature second experimental setup is a little different from the first one here the entire plant is taken into a beaker and it is fitted in such a way so that the roots are there inside the water along with the roots there is a graduated tube which is added or which is combined with it and along with the tube or at the top of the tube we have put few droplets of water uh, sorry oil over the water so that we can avoid any kind of evaporation which may take place if water was present if thing that the entire setup was present the way it is present and sunlight is falling over the entire setup now after a certain period of time we will see that the evaporation definitely there will be transpiration seen from the plant but other than that we can also experience that some evaporation may occur from this graduated tube so in order to avoid this loss of water by process of evaporation we have used the oil droplets oil will not be evaporated out and oil will also avoid the evaporation of water so in this way we are not allowing evaporation to occur but we are allowing the plant to transpire so initially when we start with the experimental setup 
we try to understand or take the first reading so suppose the reading is over here and um, here the marking is 2.5 after one two three i'm just trying to count the graduated tube is not clearly visible so three four so let let me roughly just make few lines so that it becomes quite evident that what will be the marking two three four let it be 4.5 so initial reading is 4.5 milliliters and suppose after uh, two hours we can find that the reading has dropped down to this position and it is three so the amount of transpiration is the difference between these two and that is the amount of water which is lost by this process now we have to also keep in our mind the fact that water will always be lost by the aerial aperture that is the stomata and the third experimental setup is also there just the difference in first and two, second experimental setup was that we were weighing the entire plant for the first setup. In the second setup, we used the graduated tube and read the markings of milliliters. And from there, we figured out that how much transpiration has occurred in a given set of time. Whereas in the third one or third experimental setup, we take the entire plant in a test tube or a beaker and then add a layer of oil over it again the same reason no evaporation of water will be allowed in this process so there will be no evaporation taking place and there will be only chance of the leaves for the process of transpiration so initially when we begin with the experimental setup we use a spring balance and we will again follow the reading over there we will try to mark the reading that what was the initial reading and after two hours again we will check the reading and there will be difference between initial and final reading and that difference is the amount of transpiration which has occurred so what is our basic aim our basic aim is to understand that if we put a plant in solar radiation for a prolonged period of time or for a given period of time we see that transpiration occurs and this transpiration can be calculated we can calculate the amount of transpiration occurring in a given period of time so these three experiments or three experimental setups can give us some idea that how does transpiration actually takes place in the plants and what do we observe we have observed that Oil is restricting the process of evaporation which may show faulty reading. So with the use of oil we are getting accurate reading of the rate of transpiration. And finally the result is the same that plants they lose water by the process of transpiration through the aerial parts of the plant that is a aerial parts of the leaf that is the stomatal pore which is created by the guard cells turgid guard cells